Okay, in this video, I want to talk about a little bit more about uh, conditional statements and basically their parts. Conditional statements are statements are if-then statements, and they're represented with an arrow. So we've got if-then statements, and these are again called con their technical names: conditional statements or if-then statements, and they're represented by the arrow. Now, the arrow has being a dyadic uh, kind of statement has a left side and a right side. Okay? Usually, you stick the variables A and B in there, just for using the variables. Now, these parts have labels. The left side, for a while here, we're going to call the antecedent. What does that mean? Literally, the thing that came before. The right side is called the consequent. I mean literally the thing that comes after the consequences, the things that result from some previous thing having, having happened. Now, uh, we usually talk about conditional statements when we're talking about causality, like if I knock on this wall, then you hear that sound. But they're not all causal. They can be contractual. Like if you, anytime you've gotten like an update on your phone, you've had to click a user agreement that says, I agree to terms in. Conditions. The conditions are things like if you let's say like something like Facebook, if you post something up on social media, then we have the right to to use it or to censor it, those kinds of things. Uh, those are the conditions that you sign up for that you affirm those conditions. Now, the only time I can, we can say that a conditional statement is false, and I'll talk about this more when I get to truth tables and truth trees. The only time a condition doesn't work or a condition null doesn't work is if you have a true antecedent and a false consequence. So if I say something like, you know, if you do, if you make above a 90%, and you've got an A for this class. Now, if you make above a 90% and I give you an F, I uh, gave you false conditions. I lied to you. So a lot of false conditions, we can say those are those are lies. So I say if you do this, then you then this will be the result. If you did that, mm -hmm. nah. Those are the only time the conditions are conditional statements are false to the true antecedent and a false consequence. Again, we'll talk more about that later when I get to truth trees and stuff. But we've got basically this. There are other names here too. I could say the left side is a sufficient condition, the right side is a necessary condition. Um, that will actually come up later when we come back to conditionals after talking about uh, conjunctions. But okay, this is great that we can render things as conditional. So if I say something like, you know, if today is Thursday, then we have a test. Okay, compound statement. If today is Thursday, then we have a test. Presumably today, but I'll just leave it at that. Now, what I'm going to do here, first of all, is I'm going to mark the connective language in here. Here's the stuff that lets you know. that this is a conditional statement. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I did I think in the first video, I'm going to underline some things in here that we're going to use to determine the variables. Now, I arbitrarily chose T for today's Thursday, and I chose W for we have a test. I could have picked any letters in there. I try to avoid underlining tests so I didn't have T twice because we don't want we don't want multiples in the same way. So what does T stand for? Today is Thursday. What does W stand for? We have a test today. Well, okay. So these are the variables that we have in this particular instance, T and W. How do I put them together as a conditional statement? What goes on the left? What's the antecedent? So we know because we've got if then language that we're going to have an arrow here for this to represent. If today is Thursday, then we have a test. So what, what, what's the antecedent here? What would go on the left side of the arrow? Well, generally speaking, whatever follows, and this is going to seem peculiar here, whatever follows the phrase if, and that's a single word, but I'm going to say phrase here to distinguish it from something called only if that we're going to talk about later. Whatever follows the phrase if goes on the left side of the arrow. So what comes after if? Today's Thursday. We're representing that with a T. T goes on the left side of the arrow. 
And whatever follows that, or pretty much whatever is left in this case, goes on the right side. So we have a test. What, how do we represent we have a test? It's W. So T arrow W. Bam. Formal logic. T arrow W is the formal representation proposition that we're using for the statement, the compound statement. If today is Thursday, then we have a test. Okay, in the next video, what I want to do is show you, yeah, translating individual statements is important. That will be part of what you do on your quizzes. But what can we do with this? So far, this is just diagramming language. It's not giving us any kinds of deductions. Well, that's what we're going to go on to next.